What do you mean a fire has started? How? Where? Daniel? Oh my god! YouTube, my name is Sezraw, and welcome back to the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge, where all of the fathers in this gameplay are a mix of my favorite real life celebrities and your favorite real life celebrities, too. In the last episode of the 100 Baby Challenge, I took a big risk in sneaking an extra pregnancy into Sarah's matriarchy because Sarah, my matriarch, who is me, <laughs> is getting very close to becoming an elder. She's right at the end of her ability to have babies for this challenge. So I took a big risk in sneaking an extra pregnancy in, fully expecting it to be a baby boy because we've had so many baby girls. Hugh Jackman's baby was a baby girl. It left me stressed because if I get pregnant again in this episode, we'll Will we have a girl or will we have a boy? So at the end of the last episode, I named my daughter Jess because that is who I want my next matriarch to be. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed that if we are able to get pregnant in this video, that it's going to be a baby boy and we're not going to have another baby girl. We met Jared Leto in last episode and got flirty with him. So if we're able to get pregnant in this episode, we're going to be having Jared Leto's baby. I say if we can get pregnant because we might not be able to to get pregnant yet. I'm about to find out. So let's get into the game and let's see where all of the kids are at. So it is 3.58 on Monday morning. We have come home a couple of hours ago with Jess. She's asleep. Let's check in with Mitchell and Bronson because they are our teenagers at the moment and it all depends on them as to whether we're going to be able to get pregnant in this episode. We have school today for both of them. Over the weekend I worked on getting their skills but they haven't been to school as teenagers yet so I need them to be up in a great mood and working hard all day to day because Mitchell is at level three so he's ready to go he's a B student and Bronson is the same they both did painting for their skills because they were both artistic kids so it will depend on whether they can be aged up today or not as to whether we'll be able to get pregnant in this episode so then we've got Miss Reagan who is a grade school B student so she is at level four of social because she wanted to be a social butterfly so hopefully at the end of today we might be able to age her up into a teenager so then we've got our little Miss Hazel, who has only just become a child. This will be her first day of school, but we've got her up to level two of motor. She's almost at level three of motor, so we need to get going for her skill. And then her twin sister, Annabelle, she is also a level two grade school C student at level three, actually, of motor skills. So a little bit further along than her sister. So we're going to work on getting those skills up for them today. And then we've got Caitlin, who is level two at potty thinking and level one and the rest. So let's have a look at the calendar to see we can age Jess up into a toddler tomorrow. And the last thing I need to know is how many days does Sarah have left? At the end of last episode, there were two days left on the meter, which is why I am hoping that today we can age Mitchell and Bronson up into young adults and move them out of the house. I feel like if she's still got two days left, we've got a little bit of leeway because if they don't make it today, they will definitely be be able to make it tomorrow so let's see how many days Sarah has left oh she's got one she's got one day left if we can't age the boys up today and get Sarah pregnant today and we leave it till tomorrow when there's zero days left I don't know when it's going to auto age her up and we have the chance of it not happening. But we're just going to have to go with the flow and see what happens. <laughs> There's no other choice for us today. So let's get the day started for everyone. <laughs> okay, I feel like now that Bronson's in an inspired mood, he's got the create feeling inspired there. Pretty tasty, all that stuff. I feel like that's going to be okay now. I am going to get Mitchell back in the shower to have a thoughtful shower to make him inspired for a few hours at least. We're going to watch TV to make you in a really, really good mood. The best mood you can possibly be in is what we're doing for you today. 
I'm actually really nervous. Like, I should not be so nervous for this. Like, it's just another day, but I'm so nervous. I just want this to go really well, and I want to be able to age the boys up today. All right, it's 20 to 8. I'm going to get the boys waiting right on the, the curb so that they can go straight to school straight away. I need to maximize their time at school today. So I need you waiting to go so that you're ready to go straight away and we're getting you to work hard straight away. They've got a long way to go today, but I believe you guys can do it. Did I do extra credit homework for you guys? Did I? Did I? I think I did. Am I the best? Oh, I'm the best. Oh, I'm giving you the most tools that I can give you. Off you go to school, guys. Working hard, both of you. Very hard today, please. Okay, it's out of my hands now. Whatever happens is gonna happen. <laughs> you remember when Sarah had earbuds and then she gave them to Kane or Caleb, one of them? I can't remember which one. I want them back <laughs> because it's gonna make it a whole lot easier for her to have fun while doing something else. So, oh, I didn't know you could get colored ones. I'm gonna get some green earbuds because I love green. It's my favorite color. So I'm gonna get her to listen to some easy listening while she's doing some stuff around the house because can you imagine having so many kids and just being overwhelmed with so many kids all the time? Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh, they're home. I didn't wait. What? No, they're not home. It's 1.30. Why am I getting this now? Bronson became a better student and got his grades up considerably. So did Mitchell. Does this mean? Oh my God. Does this mean that they're A students? I might actually cry. Oh my God. I haven't looked yet and I'm not going to look until they get home. Oh my God. They're about to get home. They're about to get home. Oh my god, okay, it's happening. I don't care about projects. I don't care. I don't care about projects at all. <gasps> Mitchell's an A student, please, Bronson. Oh, yay! Oh. Mitchell and Bronson have made it to A students, which means Reagan's a B student. That's totally fine. I don't care about the kids. I'm just, oh my god, I'm so stoked that Mitchell and Bronson have made it to A students so we can have a birthday party for them and move them out of the house and get pregnant with Jared Leto's baby tonight. And it'll probably be twins. Oh my god, the relief that is flooded through me now. It's gonna mean that Sarah's gonna have 30, at least 38 babies for her matriarchy. That is a lot of kids. That's a lot of kids. I'm so proud of you guys. Thank you so much for doing that for me today. Oh my god. We're gonna have a birthday party with birthday Sims being Mitchell and Bronson. I'm still so stoked about it. We're gonna invite Sims, which include their dad, who is Mr. Jensen Ackles. Moments later. <gasps> Jensen Ackles is here. Yes, let's get the cake out of the fridge. Oh, Mitchell, happy birthday, my guy. Thank you so much. <laughs> for becoming an A student today. You're amazing. So he wants to be a Mount Kamarebi sightseer. He is a friggin', he is an art lover. He's responsible for having positive responsibility. And his last trait is a geek. That's fantastic, Mitchell. Yes, I love it for you. Pop some candles back on that cake. And let's get Mr. Bronson. Thank you, Bronson. Happy birthday to you. So he wants to be the curator. He wants to collect everything the world has to offer. He is self-absorbed. He is creative. He's responsible from having positive responsibility. And he is a maker. That's fantastic. What a great bunch of Sims we've got here. You guys, you're the best. I love you guys. But the birthday party is over. <laughs> Yay. All right. The time has come to move Mitchell and Bronson out of the house. So we're going to save and go to Manage Worlds. I'm super excited, like super stoked. We're going to go Sam my Shuno. We've got some space in this household. So we're going to chuck Mitchell and Bronson in there. And we'll give them five grand. Beautiful. They are split. We now have room in the house once again. <laughs> All right, Sarah, I need, 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 need you to call over Mr. Jared Leto right now. It is happening. We are getting pregnant with his baby. Jared Leto, call him over. We'll get the kids doing some stuff. Hello, Jared Leto. Would you like to try for baby with me in the shower, Mr. Jared Leto? Yes, let's go. All right, this is going to be the last time for Sarah. The last woohoo in the shower. The shower's on. Snurby snurb. Snurby snurb.
Let's find out if she's having a baby. Sarah, take a pregnancy test. Please let us be pregnant the first time, please. We've only got three hours left of the day. Come on. Please be pregnant, please be pregnant, please be pregnant, please, 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 please. She's eating for two. Oh my God, that's so exciting. We're having your baby, Jared Leto. Thank you so much. And I'm gonna put easy listening back on in the headphones. Can you please read her to sleep, please? Read her to sleep. Why are you going to that bed? I asked you to do it in this bed. That makes no sense. <gasps> Annabelle's just made it to level four. Oh my God, I didn't realize how late it was. Everyone needs to go off to bed, please. Jesus, oh my God, my kids. I mean, Annabelle's made it to level four, which is fantastic, but I don't think that Hazel's made it to level four yet. No, not just yet. Cool, but everyone's gonna head off to bed, which includes Sarah. So let's bring on tomorrow. It's really kind of cruisy this time round. It's just a pregnancy. I don't have to worry about aging teenagers up or anything like that this is going to be the last pregnancy so we can really just take it slow enjoy this pregnancy we don't need to meet any more dads for the minute anyway not until jess who we've just got the notification to say it's her birthday tomorrow so not until jess becomes the next matriarch hopefully i'm keeping my fingers crossed we're having boys today so <laughs> well let's bring on tomorrow where we can age jess up into a toddler the next day We've got Kiddly Winks awake. Sarah's just cooked some grilled cheese and it's all a good time. We're not going to be able to get Hazel and Annabelle there today. They're only C students, so they've still got to become B students, so that's fine. Hopefully, we'll be able to get Reagan. I mean, it's going to happen. She's like right there. So she'll become an A student today and we'll be able to age her up into a teenager, which is really exciting. And then we're going to be able to age Jess up into a toddlerino as well. I'm so excited. Jess is crying, so we're going to get her her all fixed up and then we're gonna age her up happy birthday jess Alrighty, let's randomize her trait to find out what kind of toddlerino she's gonna be she's gonna be clingy okay that's okay we've had clingy toddlers before we can do clingy toddlers that's totally fine okay is this how we're doing things now righto <laughs> it's fine Anyway, we're going to give Jess her little mini makeover right now. So let's find out what she's going to look like, my little angel. 12 seconds later. So this is our little Jess. She is a cutie pie. I love this outfit with the ballet flats, the little half up, half down. So cute. So that's her everyday wear. Her sleep wear, we're down in the next swatch of the onesie, which has some different writing on it now. We're getting close. We've only got five more swatches of it after that, so... It's going to be crazy. We're going to have to pick a new sleepwear for toddler girls after that. So that is our little Jess, now a toddler. Girls are about to be home from school. Yes, Reagan's made it to an A student. That is so good. All right, we're going to have birthday party with birthday sim being Miss Reagan Platt. We're going to invite guests, which include her dad, which is Mr. Justin Bieber. Where's the Biebs? Please let him come to his daughter's birthday today because he didn't last time. One hour later. Justin Bieber is here. That's fantastic. Very good. All right, Reagan, your dad's here, so let's blow out the candles. In he comes. Hello, Justin Bieber. Walking right in the door. Fantastic. Let's blow out the candles, little Miss Reagan. Your dad is right in my camera screen. I can see him right there. So happy birthday, little Miss Reagan. There she is. So we're going to need to use Google's random number generator to find out what she wants to do with her life. So let's pick a random number between 1 and 12. Number 7. Now, I know there's currently 13 aspirations in the game, but we had the animal aspiration come up a lot for the majority of Sarah's early kids. So we've been excluding the animal aspiration and going with the rest. But once... Jess, hopefully. I'm just putting it out there that Jess is going to be the new matriarch. Once she starts having kids, we will be including the animal aspiration again. So seven for Miss Reagan. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. It's going to be knowledge. So we need to pick a number between one and seven now. Number three. So one, two, three. She wants to be both book smart and handy. That's fantastic. She is a slob. What else is she going to be? She's going to be jealous. Well, that's interesting for our Miss Reagan. Oh, she's wearing the hair that she did when she was 
a toddlerino. Isn't that interesting? But the birthday party's ending. Thank you so much for coming this time, Justin Bieber. I really appreciate it. And we're going to give Reagan her makeover right now. A few moments later. So this is our Reagan as a teenager. I love the pink. She's pink this time. She's always kind of had dyed hair. So we've got this blonde with the pink through it. I like pink to be her color. I think it's super cute. I love this outfit from Discover University. Super adorable. So then her formal wear, we've got this custom content dress. Very pretty in pink again. Her athletic wear, we're down in the next swatch of this top. And then her sleep wear, we're down in the next swatch of this pajamas outfit. Super cute with the panda bear in the pocket. Her party wear, we've gone to this dress that Molly was wearing, but in a different coloring. I love tie-dye and this is super cute, so I love it. We're down in the next swimwear, which we've used before, but we're using in this swatch because it's so freaking cute. I love it for her. Her hot weather wear, we're down in the next swatch of the new hot weather outfit for girls, which is this gorgeous outfit from Island Living. It's gorgeous. I love the frangipanis. I love this coloring. She's bright and beautiful. I love it. Her cold weather wear, we're down in the next swatch of this outfit. So that is our Reagan, now a teenager. How pretty does she look? Oh, she's gorgeous. Yes, Caitlin. So Caitlin's just made it to level three of communication. So she's just got potty, movement, and imagination to go. It's probably not going to be tomorrow, but maybe if we can get a wriggle on, maybe the day after. You just never know. <laughs> I need to figure out what skill we're going to do for Reagan. So she's jealous and a slob. She wants to be handy though. So maybe we could do the handiness skill for her. We've got this is broken, so she can work on repairing that after she finishes eating. That'll be fantastic. Sarah's going to go and help our little Annabelle with her project that she's working on. We've got Hazel upstairs getting to level four of the mental skill. I need you to get there, please. Your sister's getting, getting your streets ahead of you, honey. You need to catch up, please. Yes, Hazel, thank you so much, honey. We'll get you to come downstairs and help your sister with her project, and then we can get started on yours. And Reagan, you've just done the thing. Thank you so much. You're nearly at level two already of the handiness skill. That is so good. Hell yes, I told you we'd get it done super quickly. What was that, like an hour? Hell yes, everyone's going to head off to bed now then. Everyone, everyone, off to bed now. Which includes Sarah. She's going to chill. Let's go to sleep. So let's bring on tomorrow. I mean, we're just pretty cruisy still. Maybe we'll film a video. Maybe Sarah will have the time to film a video. That'll be pretty cool if she can. 3.28 a.m. I love it when Dan comes to visit us and <laughs> play the DigiRad keyboard at 3 o'clock in the morning. He did break something as well. He broke the bathtub so we can get uh, Reagan to fix that in the morning. That's going to be great. What do you mean a fire has started? How? Where? Daniel? Oh my god! I take back what I said, Daniel. Oh my god, how could you have started a fire? Call the freaking fire department, please, Sarah. Oh my god. Daniel! What a nightmare. Oh my god. So it is 7 o'clock in the morning after that very rude awakening. Everyone is awake. The house is no longer on fire, thank god. But I did not need that stress to start off the day. Thank you very much. <laughs> We've got Reagan who is going to be getting ready for school. We're going to get her to fix this bathtub before she goes to get her handiness up. Hazel and Annabelle are ready to go as well. Hopefully with the extra credit work that they did for their projects last night, they can make it for A students today. That'd be nice. Off you go, Reagan. Thank you so much for fixing the bath. That puts you nearly halfway to level three. You're doing really well. Wow, I'm still having babies and I'm almost an elder made 753 simoleons today. Wow. Oh, I can hear. Ah, oh, yes, our robot vacuum is broken. The kids are about to be home from school. Hell yes. Okay, so we've got B students all around, which is fine. That's still really good. Because tomorrow, Hazel and Annabelle are probably going to make it to A students. So we're going to be able to age them up into teenagers tomorrow, which is exciting. Reagan, she's got to get to level three, which we're hopefully going to do when she fixes the robot vacuum upstairs. She fixes Sneeze because a Dusty's downstairs, isn't it? Yeah, she's got to fix Sneeze. And then once she does that, hopefully she'll be level three. Oh, Sneeze is making lots of big noises. 
All right, Sarah's pretty dang tired. She is close to third trimester, which means it will be tomorrow night that we give birth to Jared Leto's baby. It's going to be at least one. I'm excited to find out what it's going to be. I'm hoping it's going to be a boy. <laughs> We might just get all the kids off to bed as well. We've just got Reagan doing her homework and then she can head off to bed. She's pretty dang tired. The following day. Yes, Reagan's just made it to level three of handiness. The shower was broken, so that is super helpful for us. Which means she's ready to go. Like her skills, she's in check. She is well on her way. She's probably gonna make it to an A student today. Reagan, you are fantastic. We're gonna age you up twice in this episode. So then we've got Hazel and Annabelle who are gonna become A students today as well. I mean, that's just fantastic. You really just like, they're killing it. I love them so much. So then there's Caitlin who is level two at imagination, movement and potty, level three at communication and thinking. I'm just thinking it probably won't be today. It's a little bit too much with that movement back there. So probably not this episode, but definitely next episode, she'll be able to age up into a child. And then we've got little Miss Jess, who's level two at potty and thinking level one at the rest. So definitely not today for her. I am going to try really hard to get Caitlin up there though today. She can actually even get up now because she's ready to get started. So we're going to see if we can get her to where she needs to be. Off to school you go, girls, please. Please have a great day, all of you working, well, not working hard, but just working so that you can all age up today, all three of you, my loves. That would be fantastic. I'll see you when you get home from school. And it's just Sarah and the Todds. And I just realized that we're a house full of girls. We're just all girls in this house. Such a ladies house at the moment. <gasps> Caitlin's just made it to level three of imagination. She's still got to get there for movement though. So let's get her on with that. It still might be doable today. It might be doable. Fashion tips and beauty reviews are in the freaking video list. So let's do a record video. Fashion tips. Oh, Jackson Pollard, Dr. Pollard died. That's why she's sad. I forgot about that. He passed away. That's crazy. Our second doctor. A third doctor? I can't remember. Anyway, Sarah's finished filming a video. That's fantastic. Let's get it edited. She's getting really close. We might be able to do it today. Considering we're not going to give birth to the baby until later on, we've got plenty of time to have birthday parties. So it might be happening. We might, we might be aging up four out of five of the kids at the moment, which is a very exciting thing. Okay. <gasps> Reagan's not an A student. She's a B student. That's interesting. But Hazel's an A student. So is Annabelle. That's okay. I'm okay. Like she's so close. She's definitely going to make it tomorrow. So that's fine. That's just not what I was expecting. That's all. Um, Reagan's really angry as well. So we're getting her to jog to clear her mind at the moment. No, you're going to jog to clear your mind. You are definitely jogging to clear your mind because I need the both of these gone. Thank you very much. Do it, please. Don't stand in the middle of the road. Someone was naked. That's why you were naked. Stop being naked. Hello, Gerard Way. How are you today? <gasps> no, I just saw Caitlin made it to level three. She's level three. She's just got potty and she needs to go potty. So she's going to go potty. One potty is going to be all that it's going to take. Oh my God. That's so exciting. There we go. Caitlin's made it. So we are going to be able to age Hazel, Annabelle and Caitlin up today. That's exciting. We're going to plan a birthday party. We're having birthday sims, Hazel, Annabelle and Caitlin. We're going to invite guests, which include both of their dads, which is Ryan Gosling and Ryan Reynolds. Where's there's Mr. Gosling and Ryan Reynolds is down here. That's fantastic. Let's get this birthday party happening for three of our girls. We are still on baby watch, by the way. That pacifier is going to start flashing, so we need to get the birthday party done before Sarah goes into labor. Oh, Sarah's so tired as well, so she's going to need a nap. So we really need to get this birthday party happening. Two hours later. Call the dads again. I'm getting mad. I'm getting real mad. They're not coming. We're on a timeline. Like everyone's already, everyone's here. Okay, good. They've just arrived. Thank God everyone's here. Ryan Reynolds is on his way in right now. So we're going to help 
Caitlin blew out the candles. This has been kind of a long leading up to the birthday party in this happening. Oh my god. Thank god the pacifier is not flashing yet. But Ryan Reynolds is here. Happy birthday to our Caitlin, honey. There we go. Caitlin's aged up into a child, so we're going to randomize her aspiration, her childhood aspiration. So we need a number between one and four, which is number two, which is mental. She's going to be a mental child. That's fantastic. And what's her trait going to be? A loner. We haven't had a loner in a long long time. <laughs> That's really interesting. All right, let's get some candles back on that cake. Thank you, honey, because we've got Hazel and Annabelle's turn now. Let's start with Hazel. Let's get her to blow out these candles. Your dad's literally right there front and center. Oh, I didn't even see it, honey. Happy birthday. Sarah was in the way. Happy birthday, honey. All right, so we're going to need to do the same for Hazel. Find out what her lifetime aspiration is going to be, though. So a number between 1 and 12 for her is number 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, food. Does she want to be a master chef or a master mixologist? Let's find out. A number between 1 and 2 is number 1. She wants to be a master chef. That is so good because it's so easy to gain that skill. She's already a cat lover. She's also going to be evil. We haven't had an evil sim in a long time. Oh. Anyway, it's fine. We'll get her to chuck some candles back on that cake and then we will do uh, Annabelle's birthday. It's got to be Annabelle's turn. Happy birthday, Annabelle. Happy birthday, honey. So a number between 1 and 12 is number 12. Wow, wow, wow. So it's going to be Star Wars related. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? So we're going to need Hope versus Order or Galactic Privateer. Let's find out what she wants to do with her life. Number one. Wow. Okay. Which means she wants to do Hope versus Order, which is interesting because that's the storyline of Batu, and I have never played Batu, so maybe we'll take Annabelle on 100 Baby spin-off and do the bar two playthrough. Who knows? We'll do it. Well, why not? Let's just have some fun with it. I don't know a thing about Star Wars, but it's going to be fun. So after we finish Chloe's 100 Baby spin-off with the vampire family, we're going to go into a spin-off with Annabelle doing Journey to Batu. Annabelle is a music lover already. She's also outgoing. Fantastic. And the birthday party is over. That is so good. Chuck some candles back on this cake. Please, Reagan, could you read Jess to sleep? Because she's super tired. She's so tired. If you could just read her to sleep, that would be great for me. Thank you. Sarah needs to sleep. She is super tired as well. We're going to get her to have a nap, though. Because now we're at the point where we just need to be giving birth to the baby. So we are on baby watch. It's going to be happening in a couple hours. So we'll let Sarah sleep for a couple hours. It's flashing. Oh my god. Yes, 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 yes. Let's get her awake. I'm going to get her to quickly go to the toilet so that she doesn't have a bladder accident because we haven't had a bladder accident this whole time she's been having pregnancies and I want to keep that streak alive. We've had one energy fail, but we've never had a bladder accident. So I'm very proud of that. <laughs> she's gone into labor. She's bursting with anticipation to meet a new bundle of joy. That is fantastic. We're going to have the baby at the hospital. I'm happy if it's just one baby, but it needs to be a boy regardless. If we have twins, they both need to be boys. And honestly, the last five kids we've had have been all girls, so we are due boys anyway. Oh, hello, Jackson. Our old doctor is now the assistant at the front desk. It looks like she's going to be our doctor, so let's have this final birth. The final birth for Sarah's matriarchy. Oh my god. Is it going to be boy or girl? Is it going to be twins or single baby? I'm hoping it's twins, but twin boys. Twin boys. Twin boys. I'm putting it out in the universe. Twin boys. I'm going to be so stumped if it's a girl. Like, so stumped. Like, how can we have six girls in a row? It's a boy. Okay, so... This is a good start, but we do still have the potential to have another baby. So let's just find out what we're going to call this baby boy, first of all. Corey. Corey Platt. Welcome to the family, Corey. And it's another baby boy. Oh my god. Yes, I'm stoked. So Jess is going to be the next matriarch. That is fantastic. So what are we going to name this baby boy? Morgan. So we've got Corey and Morgan 
Platt. Wow. Oh my God. So that is Sarah's last pregnancy. We ended it on twins, which is fantastic. If we have a look now, she's got one day. We're not getting pregnant again tomorrow. I don't have another dad lined up. So tomorrow is Sarah's birthday. And actually tomorrow is an hour away. So with it would be beyond my control. I don't think that we would be able to. And honestly, I'm happy to have Sarah become an elder tomorrow. But guys, that is all that I've got for this episode of the 100 Baby Challenge. I could not be happier to have had Jared Leto's beautiful twin boys to be able to know that Jess is going to be our new matriarch. That is the end of Sarah's matriarchy. We've just got to raise these kids and get Jess prepared for when she can take over and start having babies herself. So with the addition of Corey and Morgan to the list, we have had 39 babies. Sarah, she did amazing. 39 kids. <laughs> Let's hope we can continue on such a good trend for Jess's matriarchy. But if you guys would like to see more of me and more of my 100 baby challenge, including Sarah becoming an elder and Jess taking over and starting to have kids, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell next to it to be notified of every time that I upload. And if you liked this video, let me know by hitting the like button down below and leave me a comment as well. Please give me recommendations for real life celebrities that you would like to be parents in my 100 baby challenge. I do have some rules for your submissions though and they are in the description down below. Check that out before you leave your requests. But guys, I hope you're having the greatest day ever and I will see you in the next video. Bye!